What's up guys? Welcome to Keto Rewind. I am Jess and today is my one year keto anniversary. I've made it one whole year since I decided to change my life with a ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, and a little bit of carnivore and ketovore sprinkled along the way. So, but before we get started, I want to say a few things. First, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't give any medical advice. This entire YouTube channel is based on my experience losing weight. Um, and I would suggest you talk to your own doctor um, and do your own research. The second thing, if you're new here, will you please hit that subscribe button down below? Turn on those notifications. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I still have, I don't want to say how many pounds, but I still have weight left to lose. So um, if you enjoy motivational, weekly motivational videos, weekly weight loss inspiration, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications. And lastly, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. I figured a really long video might scare off some viewers. So I thought I would break it down into today, since it's my weigh-in day normally, the weight loss stats before and after pictures of my keto transformation. Um, basically the physical changes. Um, I'm gonna break the video up into that part and then the, and the second part will be the emotional side, what changed, how I did it. So that kind of thing. So we're gonna break this into two parts. So stay tuned for part two, it'll be posted tomorrow. Okay, so now let's get to it. I just came from the gym. I had one of, I actually met up at my local gym with one of my Keto Rewind viewers. So shout out to Amy. <laughs> um, we did go have some coffee afterwards and chatted some more and it was great. And it's just nice to be around people that are on the same journey. So definitely any opportunity you have to meet up with somebody who's on the same path, do it. I highly recommend. Okay, so the next part, everybody wants to know, how much weight did I lose in one year of a ketogenic diet? Well, I started my journey, the day I changed my life was February 11th, 2019. So obviously that's technically tomorrow, but like I said, we're gonna, it's a weigh-in day, it'll be a day early, it's not gonna make that big of a change, so. So I started off at 309 pounds. I am five feet eight, so yes, I'm tall. Um, I'm apple shaped. Um, I had most of my weight basically in my belly or my tummy. Um, today, one almost a day shy of one year later, I weighed in at 206 pounds. That means in one year, I lost 102 pounds. 
All right, guys, one year of keto, 206.0. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe, for one, I've never stuck to a diet for longer than six months in my life in the first place. That's like the longest I ever got. So the fact that I lasted one whole year and committed fully to this lifestyle is, I blew myself away. <laughs> so the one of the most interesting things about my before and after is leading up to this video I'm about to show you. It speaks so much volume about the mindset, the place, the dark place that I was in with my own self-image, my own self-worth, my own happiness. So, and this is the crazy thing. I normally do not keep any fat photos on my phone, on my computer. If I find one, I delete it. I'm amazed I was able to find as many before photos that slipped by my deleting. <laughs> so um, the fact that this video even exists, it's from my first week. It's not literally day one. I think it was like day seven or day six or something like that, but it's from the first week. So it's relevant and it speaks volume where I was a year ago. So let me let me play the clip right now. All right, I am on day seven of keto. I'm making this video so you can track my progress. Uh, I am down eight pounds in seven days and I um, wanted to give a quick video of what my current body shape is. and I will be back to post more updates. All I've got to say is that video gives me chills now. I can't even believe I was that person. Like, that is a really, that was not a good place to be in. I don't want to go so far to say I was depressed, but my self-image, my self-worth, my self-confidence, my, 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 my lust for life, you can see where it was in that video. Now, a year later, I'm not even that same person. Like, whoa, a humongous transformation. So I'm thankful that I have that video. It's embarrassing for me. I wasn't proud then, but that video, the girl that's in that video, she said enough was enough and she was gonna get this done and she was strong enough to get me where I am today. So where I would love to hate on that video and, and tear apart that part of myself, instead, I look at it now as so inspiring. Like that girl was strong. That girl rolled up those sleeves and got it to work. And she wanted more. So in that pursuit of more led to happiness. So I did, I wanna encourage you, when you start a ketogenic journey, please take pictures. Please take videos. Please take measurements. Please buy clothes that are too small for you or go through your closet and find something that you save that you haven't worn in X amount of years. Because as you lose weight, the amount of changes on your body, that's why this video is my physical changes, the amount of changes that your body's gonna go through if you fight every week is ridiculously awesome. So let's, for instance, I took a measurement, I took four measurements. I did hips, uh, belly button, which you wanna pick landmarks that are the same, this way you have the same spot of the measurement, and high waist. Now I'm apple shaped, so I don't have a waist. I don't have that beautiful hourglass figure. <laughs> I've always been pretty straight, straight down, um, which makes finding jeans hard because stuff that fits my hips is usually too tight in the waist and but anyways, <laughs> um, but my hips, my hips were 60 inches around. It was an entire tape measure went around. As of this morning, my hips are 45 inches. My belly button, like my belly button was 
I believe it was 54 inches. I'm going to correct it if it's wrong, but when I, I didn't print out my measurements, my belly button was 54 inches around. My belly button now is 37 inches around. My high waist, which is the smallest part of your waist right there, my high waist was 45 inches. Now it's 35 inches. My arms, at the widest part, was 16 and a half inches. They're now 14 inches. So I was like, oh, huge amount of inches just in those four measurements that's a huge change of my body in one year on the ketogenic diet so that was my measurements i want to next take you on a little trip through memory lane i included as many of the weekly um thumbnails from my previous videos as i could find some of them i don't know what happened where i saved them <laughs> Um, but I'm going to take you on a quick little ride down memory lane and watch my body change. Now, some weeks it looks like I am way smaller than next week. It's different. Like my body literally was a shapeshifter. <laughs> I mean, it, it went from really big change to like not really a big change to big changes. And it just shows you how unpredictable a ketogenic diet is when you're losing weight. So let's watch the day one or week one all the way through week 52. I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so we've seen the transformation pictures, the keto transformation pictures. We've seen the way, the where I was emotionally on week one. We've seen um, random before and after pictures throughout. I mean, the physical changes that your body will provide you is amazing it's so inspiring it's so the, the amount of weight loss inspiration that i can possibly show you on film i'm putting in this video i want you to have this too you can have this too and to summarize a whole year in one video is super tough so that's why i'm going to make the next video um, for part two um, clarify like to summarize like how how I lost 102 pounds in a year.
So, so stay tuned for that video. But the main thing I want to leave you with is the reason I'm standing here today is not because I was perfect, is not because I'm an expert, it's not because I, I didn't want to be overweight anymore. I mean, who chooses to be morbidly obese in the first place? Nobody would choose that. I mean, I guess there's a few people that like eat on YouTube videos for money. I don't know, but <laughs> I didn't even know about all that till I got on this journey. But I'm saying normal people, nobody wants to be morbidly obese. Nobody wants to be the fat kid. Nobody wants to have health issues because of their weight. So it's not because any of those things happened um, to me. It was because the reason for my weight loss or how I can explain it is I never gave up on myself. I never quit and I kept moving forward. If I had a, if I had any trouble, if I had a bad week, if I had a slip up meal, if I went on a vacation, if I just didn't, if I just wasn't awesome that day, it didn't give me the excuse to throw all the hard work away that I'd been working so hard for. Like just because you have a shitty week doesn't mean the whole journey, the hell with it. You know, there's no, there's none of that. Like I just got better every meal and made it a point. Like it was my goal to be better every time I had a chance. And yes, emotions got the best of me. Um, negative people got the best of me. Um, life got the best of me. And I had a lot of times where I either didn't lose weight or I gained weight. But the difference is that didn't stop me. That didn't say you're done. I still was in control and I was still going to get back up and do it every time. And that's why I'm standing here today, 102 pounds smaller because I freaking wouldn't quit. So when I see comments like, you know, I fell off the wagon, I, you know, it, I've gained five pounds or I've, you know, whatever. I, when I see those comments and you think you fell off the wagon, you didn't. You just are in a break right now and you're going to get back on it because you're not a quitter. You can have this too. You just have to fight for it. You just have to do it. And it's easier said than done. Fuck yes. And I'm sorry for the language, but yeah, if you are going to lose, if you have a, if you're morbidly obese like I was and you're going to lose 140 pounds, you're about to get on a ride of your life. And there is no sugarcoating, sugarcoating that. It's going to be the hardest thing you ever did in your life. Besides pumping out two kids, this has been the third most challenging thing in my life that I've ever done. And that was to overcome obesity. Everybody has the choice. Everybody has the tools. Not everybody's going to succeed. Whoever's going to succeed is the ones that just won't quit. They won't give up. And the people that never give up on themselves get to the goal line. So I'm leaving you with that. And yeah, 102 pounds gone. I went from a size 3XL or a size 22-24 to a size 12, some, some 14s, and a size large. I went from 309 pounds to, to 206 pounds. I lost 102 pounds in one year, switching to a ketogenic diet. I'm going to give you another way in tomorrow in hopes that I can shave off one more pound for you for my true one year transformation video. But still, this journey was nothing really, this journey was not really about weight loss. This journey was about getting my head back in the game and living life again. So go out and be great and I'll see you at the next video. I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.